Take the initiative to evolve. Natural evolution compared to that. God laughs. If you don't believe me, see, recently, our country officially announced that it will carry out solar system archaeology and carry out the search for extraterrestrial life. And as we all know, the Milky Way has existed since ancient times. It is a sacred and inseparable part of our country. Some time ago, China's SkyEye just announced the capture of extraterrestrial signals. No, turn around and look for aliens. Our mother's conspiracy is almost written on her face. According to Rabbit Display Generation, Equipment Generation, Research Generation, Pre-Research Generation, Consistent Style. I'm afraid he has already established diplomatic relations with aliens, right? Boss Cow has clouds. The star is brilliant. If it comes out of it, got it. Shingen Shingen, this Han, isn't it the Han of our Han nationality? But some netizens began to panic. We have a monthly salary of 3,000 to go to outer space to mine. Be an alien cow and horse. Joke is joke. But our yearning for the stars and the sea is ancient. From Chang to the moon, to Wanhu Fiishin. And then 1903, the Wright brothers invented the airplane. They will never imagine that 60 years from now, Gagarin went into space in a spaceship. Up to now, another 60 years have passed. Chang-6 returns from treasure hunting on the far side of the moon. In just a hundred years, humans' footsteps fly across the sky and towards the universe. The speed of evolution is amazing. However, in contrast to what's even more amazing is, we evolved from Homo erectus to Homo sapiens. Natural evolution took three million years. In the end, I only got one, the remnants of the congenital bug Eucharist. Take the typical recurrent laryngeal nerve. It could have been the shortest straight line between two points. It directly links the brain and throat, but he prefers to take off his pants and fart. Choose to take a detour to the heart, take a big circle, and then come back. There are blind spots in the human eye. Unlike many other animals, our retina is behind the optic nerve. So in order to make a separate passage through the optic nerve, blind spots appear. So here's another example. The trachea and esophagus are connected. Easy to choke. That's why the old saying has clouds. Eat or not beep. And there are data showing that. Humans have evolved over tens of thousands of years. A slight decrease in brain volume. Still going on. Sure enough, many people are actually mentally abnormal. But I can take care of myself, so I have always been treated as a normal person. The value of this sentence is still rising. It can be seen that natural evolution this old system has a lot of bugs. No wonder scientists have turned to the new concept of active evolution. And active evolution, to put it simply, is distinct from natural evolution, new forms of evolution that actively design and upgrade themselves. Then you may be curious and ask, what level do you actively evolve? It is also worthy to sit at the table with natural evolution. We might as well let the DPK for a while, a little opposite wave. First of all, the rate of evolution. Natural evolution often takes thousands or even millions of years for significant changes. Tibetans have experienced tens of thousands of years. Finally conquered the high cold and low pressure environment of the plateau. After humans domesticated animals that provided lactose, the gene for digesting lactose slowly evolved. In comparison, active evolution is simply the fastest legend. Whether it's a cochlear implant that you can here when you put it on. Exoskeleton armor to assist the disabled in walking. Or a significant other. Plug and play. One click assembly. Secondly, compared to active evolution. Natural evolution is not just slow, it's hysteresis. For example, why do people gain weight? Famine years. Humans may have evolved an efficient energy storage mechanism. Some genetic variants can also make individuals more susceptible to gaining weight, to have a better chance of survival, and with the drastic change in eating habits. In modern times, there was no need for that. But I was used to it by Pua. Can't start at zero frames. Total slow half a beat. So, life's trump card against harsh environments. It becomes a killer in the greenhouse environment. In other words, you are now fat. You can throw the blame at your ancestors. After all, Man. you used to be a legendary starving king king. In addition, unlike natural evolution, the direction of active evolution is completely human controlled. For example, kidney patients can no longer naturally evolve a good kidney. But in 2022, the United States will complete the world's first xenotransplant surgery. Pig kidneys are genetically programmed to be implanted into humans. Offers new treatment possibilities. In the future, you can open the microphone button and scold your teammates for pigs. Maybe it's a real one. This is human controllability unique to active evolution. Likewise, for cardiovascular disease, the research team at ETH Zurich, using silicone materials and 3D printing technology, replicating the structure and function of the human heart, a flexible bionic heart has been developed. The first cyborg in history to suffer from ALS, reversing the river of time through mechanical transformation, forcibly took three years of life from Yama. Think about it. What if humans stopped relying on natural evolution based on flaws? They're guided by optimal design. Utilize the latest technology. Upgrade your own body. 
So, forget about ascension, immortality, or something. Is it too much for me to add a buff to that thing? I'm also really curious if you can use AI robots. Neural decoding, genetic programming, brain-computer interface, frontier technologies such as brain microcirculation transform themselves free from the shackles of natural evolution and even evolve into superhumans. Would you like to? Of course, so far, living like a fairy is just an imagination, but compared to the long and flawed natural evolution, by tapping into these cutting-edge technologies, we seem to see an agitation called active evolution. Join the glorious evolution, Yuval Harari, in a brief history of the future. Once upon a time, there was such a vision for the future of humanity, future algorithms and biotechnology. It will enable humanity to complete the evolution of the species from Homo sapiens to God-man. AI has become a global trend. The robot body is designed in the optimal direction. The great space age is about to begin. Must admit, humans naturally evolved this body. It's long overdue for the second-hand platform to recycle it at home and go into space as a human. Difficult and dangerous. Just like the poison bean stewed in a variety show. It smells fragrant, but it's still a lump in essence. Could it be that humans can only drag this old body out into space? If so, in our stated future of going to space, do humans still have the ability to control artificial intelligence? Yuval finally came up with the answer. Humans will redefine the future through active evolution. And by then, oh, most people who don't think about change will be reduced to the useless class. Only a few change-minded elites can enjoy the fruits of new technologies. Complete evolution with intelligent design. Editing your own genes. Finally integrated into the machine. You say, at that time, he referred to the active elite seeking change and the useless class. Is it just right now? Those who choose to embrace active evolution, or the true portrayal of humans as they continue to evolve naturally. In the next video, I will be based on various facts. Plug imaginary wings into the possibilities realized by the brain in the tank. I will be waiting for you in the future.